This is a problem that I think a lot of us have to deal with now and again. I often find myself... <coughs> ...having to remove small objects, texts, or logos from videos that I filmed. Either because it was something that I didn't see was there when I filmed it, maybe something ended up in the shot by mistake, or a client just suddenly decided that the, that specific object or text or logo is just not supposed to be there anymore. It all happens. And there are probably a thousand ways to remove things from video these days. But I would like to show you a really easy one to remove just minor things from your videos inside of DaVinci Resolve. I do have an older video with a similar topic where I remove a logo from a laptop in After Effects, I believe. And I recently got a comment on that video asking how I would do this these days. So here we are. Here's one of the ways you can do this in DaVinci Resolve. All right, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve. I actually did remove something from uh, this clip uh, just a few days ago. These little signs here on uh, the tree. I just found them a little distracting. So on the color page, on a new node, make sure that's selected and in the effects window up here, let's just search for object removal. There we go drag that onto a little node. Now before we do anything in this window up here, we're going to draw a little power window over this area that we want to uh, affect. There we go. And now this is obviously a, a static shot, so we don't have to do any tracking. Now up in this window, let's just do a scene analysis and it's going to analyze the scene. As you can see, this just turned gray. So we're gonna hit this button right here, build clean plate. And as you can see, it did create something straight away, but it's not looking perfect. Let's just adjust this. I think maybe I moved this a little bit too far. Maybe we don't need to remove that much. Let's just do something like that instead. Let's do another scene analysis. Scene analysis. Build clean plate. <laughs> there you go. That is our uh, object removed from that video. And I think that <laughs> looks pretty great. There are a few things you can play around with up here in the effects window if you're not getting the result you're after. And I'm not going to do that now because mine worked pretty well and whatever I do here is not going to work on whatever you're trying to remove anyway. So you sort of have to experiment and find whatever works for whatever you're trying to do. But I'm sure you'll figure it out. I believe in you. Let's just do a quick try with something that is moving instead. I was thinking this shot could be nice test for this. We could just see if we can remove something. I'm just gonna make this clip a little bit uh, shorter. Yes, yeah, so if you'd want to remove something that is moving, you would do the same thing that we did before. We just start with the power window now. Let's say we want to remove uh, this leaf. Draw around that, maybe something like this. We're gonna go over to the tracker, track that backwards and forwards. That's tracked. Mask is looking great. Uh, then let's add the object removal, scene analysis. I don't know what's gonna happen here, but it did track the mask at least the whole way. Let's give this a try. Uh, let's build clean plate. Okay, wow, that looks a lot better than I expected. Um, let's see, let's just play this back. There are some strange things happening uh, in and around the mask. Maybe if we soften the mask, it's not gonna look as strange anymore. Last part looks really nice. First part, we got some floating going on, like it's changing the texture on the inside. 
But if we were to just cheat a little bit and only work with the part that's good. Then I would actually say that that is a success. Uh, but yeah, that's it. I just really wanted to show you uh, how this effect works, uh, show you that it exists, and I guess the rest is up to you. I'm sure you could work that into your workflow somehow. There's always, for some reason, there is always something ending up in the video that we do not want to be in there. As you probably know, I shoot a lot of stock footage and we can't have any logos in stock footage, so I do a lot of object removal uh, from time to time. All right, I'm gonna help a friend move, so uh, I have to go. Hope you find this video useful. Uh, take care of yourself and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.